So I'm just going to release this and then they should be able to have a little fly around. Come here and just pop your hand here and you can feel the heat that's coming from the hive. It's warm, isn't it? Yeah. So that's all the bees in there, buzzing, flapping their wings. <laughs> But it was quite interesting because you could hear them through the box, which meant they were OK and they weren't too loud or anything like that. I think it will take at least a night for it to settle into my brain that we've actually got bees. Back in Loch Lomond, I'm with Harry, seeing if he's got any bees left after they swarmed. I don't want to disturb them too much because they seem so happy and relaxed. Yeah. But why don't we take this end one okay. and then we can just keep an eye and just have a look to make sure that there's definitely no eggs being laid in here. Excuse me, girls. Oops, someone's cross. You can hear this one here that's just right by Harry's face. Sound slightly different. That one's not happy with you, Harry. She, she's, up, she's having a moment. She she's like, excuse me, excuse me. Can, can I help you? Get ready to look, Harry. Yep. They seem pretty content, so mm. she should be in here somewhere. Oh, there she is. There she is, just there. Yeah. Where? I think she's gone to the other side. You're a runner. Oh, come on. Got no ink. Come on. Where's she gone? Couldn't make it up, could you? Oh, that would have been nice and easy, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. I should have so checked the pen. So I should have checked the pen. Come on, boys, don't be too downbeat. You found her once. You can do it again. Well, at least, I hope you can. Gonna be a needle in a haystack now. Well.